Before applying the color, it is important to follow several basic rules. First of all, never place your surface directly on the table. Place it on some containers, such as these plastic glasses, to raise the project off the table. This way, it will be easier for you to see if your colors are well applied and even. As well, the surface under the glass should be light and very level as the paint is extremely liquid and takes a certain amount of time to set. To create glass that is evenly colored, you must deposit large amounts of paint in each section. Dip the bristles of the brush into the bottle so that they are completely full of paint. Next, place the paint in the section without spreading it too thin. This technique is called the drop technique because you place drops of color side by side. The idea is to fill the section until the color levels itself as it fills the entire space. It is important not to spread the color into a thin layer because the color will not be even in tone and you will be able to see the brush strokes in the light. Of course, the larger the brush you use, the quicker the filling. If you find that the color is too dark, you can always lighten it with a product specially created for such use. This technique is explained a little later on. Once you have painted all the necessary sections with the first color, clean your brush in the solvent and change colors. Here is a close-up view of filling in paint. If you drip paint into another section, don't worry. Just clean up the paint with a clean Q-tip before it dries. You thus fill in all the sections of your faux stained glass one color at a time until it is completely filled in.
For small sections that are difficult to fill in with a brush without staining the outliner or leading, you can use a toothpick or a small stick. It takes a little longer than a brush, but you won't have to constantly clean up splatters on the leading or the paler outliner. To lighten a dark color or to create different tones, you just have to add some lightening medium. To do this, use a new container in which you will prepare your mix. First, pour in the quantity of color that you want. Then simply add the medium and mix gently, without shaking it. The quantity of medium that you will add depends on the intensity of color that you want. The more medium that you add, the more transparent the color will be. Once the mix is to your liking, all you have to do is fill in the areas as you would with full strength colors. 